ampulla called as the ampulla of water so this is the ampulla of water and if you look at this region this ampulla of water will open into the second part of the duodenum over the major duodenal papillae and this opening of this major duodenal papillae that is the opening of the uh, ampulla of water lies approximately 8 to 10 cm from the pyloric part of the stomach so the ampulla of water um, at the level of major duodenal papillae lies approximately around 8 to 10 cm from the level of the pyloric part of the stomach along with this major uh, pancreatic duct of Wilson there is also another small duct which may be seen in the head region which comes from the uncinate region called as the accessory pancreatic duct and this accessory pancreatic duct also opens here into the duodenum where it lies approximately 6 to 8 centimeters from the pyloric part of the stomach and it opens onto the minor duodenal papillae and this accessory pancreatic duct is also called as the accessory pancreatic duct of Santorini ok it is called as the accessory pancreatic duct of Santorini along with this there are lot of ducts which collect the like enzymes and uh, hormones from this pancreas so all this main pancreatic duct will will be uh, small pancreatic minor pancreatic duct will join this main pancreatic duct and as a result you can see a fish bone like appearance is seen here over the body of the pancreas hence it is called as the herring bone pattern okay so it is called as the herring bone pattern this is all about the ducts of the pancreas now let us see coming to the blood supply of the pancreas so within this blood supply of the pancreas or just now i told you in this picture right it is related to the tail of the pancreas related to the pleuric artery and the lino renal ligament right so now i am going to show you the same thing here this is the celiac trunk okay celiac trunk coming from the abdominal aorta directly and this trunk, celiac trunk is giving a long artery which is passing along the superior border of the pancreas it is passing along the superior border of the pancreas up to the tail of the pancreas right hence this artery the called as the splenic artery is related to the anterior border of the superior border of the body of pancreas and also to the tail of the pancreas so but i just wanted to show you one thing why this uh, why i am see i am drawing all other arteries as a single line right but while drawing this splenic artery i am making lot of kinks right it is kinking in nature so why it is like having so many twists like like uh, 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 curlings or kinking because this splenic artery is basically it is not a straight artery like this because it will be having lot of twists like this that is kinking will be there and this kinking is will help in the movement of the will help in the movement of the spleen while jumping or diving or any other activities otherwise if this artery because spleen is a mobile organ as if you if, if, if you if the spleen is mobile organ when the spleen is mobile organ and if you keep uh, if you think that the artery is a only straight structure of exactly exact length between the celiac trunk and the spleen then once the spleen moves away then there will be the chances of rupture of this splenic artery hence that is the only reason why this is this splenic artery will be kinked in nature k-i-n-k -K, kinking so that is the reason why it is kinking in nature in order to provide uh, mobility for the spleen so this kind of kinking is very useful and sometimes when a person jumps from a height like or when he falls from a height or especially there was one case which i wanted to explain you like a near medicity only it was it has happened in uh, one resort so there were students who went to the resort and they were all celebrating and there was a swimming pool where the students were like uh, uh, having food and also they were like swimming there so one one student uh, abruptly he has dived from the top to the into this swimming pool and uh, everyone was like under the influence of alcohol and no one was like caring about him because like everyone was like swimming and all these things so that person once he dived in, into the swimming pool he did not come back again to the top directly he went to the bottom and he was like just lying over the bottom of the swimming pool within the water and the person died in 15 minutes so after 15 minutes when his friends have seen search, started searching for him they have noticed that the person is lying dead within the bot at the bottom of the swimming pool in the water 
so when the body has been sent for post mortem post mortem in the post mortem what happens is like when he was diving when he dived from the top of the swimming pool into the water there was a sudden impact of this water that is the body over the surface of the water at the region of the left side of the abdomen as a result this splitting artery went into severe like uh, uh, torsion where due to that uh, severe st uh, severe stretching force what happened is like this splenic artery got ruptured from the spleen as a result there was a heavy internal abdominal bleed which led to the death of the person within 5 minutes so this is the importance of this splenic artery now let us see now let us go further so this is the splenic artery which is related to the superior border of the body of the pancreas and also to the tail of the pancreas and this is the celiac trunk and of course this celiac trunk also gives important branch called as the common hepatic artery so from the common hepatic artery you can also see one important artery coming down here towards the duodenum of the uh, small intestine called as the gastro duodenal artery this is the gastro duodenal artery so there is one important branch from the gastro duodenal artery called as the superior pancreatic duodenal artery so now you can understand that the superior pancreatic duodenal artery is a branch of the gastro duodenal artery which is coming from the common hepatic artery and also as you know very well here there are two important uh, vessels which are related to the head and also the anterior cross of the pancreas called as the superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric vein so now the superior pancreatic duodenal artery which is coming from the gastro duodenal artery covers the right border upper right border of the head of the pancreas now coming to the lower and the right border of the lower part of the head of the pancreas it is being supplied by the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery so this is the superior pancreatic duodenal artery and the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery but if you look at the branching the superior pancreatic duodenal artery is a branch of the gastro duodenal artery while the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery is a branch of the superior mesenteric artery along with this this splenic artery while on its way to the spleen it gives lot of pancreatic branches so many branches are there so among these pancreatic branches which comes one branch will become very uh, long and enlarged in size which forms a major artery for the pancreas called as the body of the pancreas called as the arteria pancreatica magna at the same time another branch also forms a long structure which goes to the tail of the pancreas called as the arteria cordis pancreatica so this is called as the arteria cordis pancreatica so now you know about the arteria pancreatica magna which is a branch from the a splenic artery which supplies the body of the pancreas and to the tail of the pancreas there is another small branch which is coming from the same uh, splenic artery which is called as arteria cordis pancreatica coming to the venous drainage the venous drainage is come the, 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 the venous blood will be drained through the inferior pancreatic duodenal vein which goes into the inferior mesenteric vein and the superior pancreatic pancreatic duodenal vein which directly drains into the portal vein again you can see the inferior pancreatic or I'll, I'll i'll just tell you once i label it so here there is another important vein here called as the splenic vein which lies over the posterior surface of the pancreas so the venous drainage from the body and tail of the pancreas will go all these venules or small veins will drain into the splenic vein so as you know very well this splenic vein will join with the superior mesenteric vein to form the portal vein so you can see this portal vein which is formed here so you can have now a clear picture about this yeah let me stop here so you can see this is a splenic vein which will be draining uh, where the small veins will be draining from the body and tail of the pancreas into it and now you can see from the head and neck region the inferior part you can see the inferior pancreatic duodenal vein which is draining into the in superior mesenteric vein while the superior pancreatic duodenal vein which is draining into the portal vein directly okay so in this way the venous drainage of the pancreas will be taking place along with this now i also wanted to keep a small points over the lymphatic drainage of the pancreas there are only three groups of lymph nodes which will be draining the complete pancreas one group of lymph nodes which are there at the tail of the pancreas called as the 
pancreaticos splenic group of lymph nodes these are called as the pancreaticos splenic group of lymph nodes and also there are another group of lymph nodes which are located at the level of the superior mesenteric artery and vein called as the superior mesenteric group of lymph nodes and of course this is a celiac front and i have been explaining you since long back uh, since the time of stomach also when i have taken the stomach so this is nothing but the celiac group of lymph nodes in this way all the lymph will be drained into this surrounding three groups of lymph nodes and also the <coughs> Uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic supply for the nerve supply for the pancreas comes from the celiac plexus. So this is all about the cross anatomy of the pancreas. Thank you.